Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video. We're in a different spot. We're in my bedroom. Uh, I need to do the dishes, but before I want to do that, I actually am going to put on some lotion. This is the Bath and Body Works Wild Berry and Chamomile. So I figured I would just start filming right here for the day. Larry just got out of the shower. He smells like Wonderful Man. And um, so today we are going to go grocery shopping. I feel like we do that in every vlog. So my apologies. I won't do like a full blown like grocery haul. I'll just show myself throwing bits and pieces into the cart. Um, just so you get an idea of what we're picking up. But the reason we're going again, because we just went last week, is because we want to make spaghetti. Do we babe? Like how I say we want to make spaghetti, but Larry has no idea what we are making. You like spaghetti, don't you? I do. So we want to do spaghetti, and then I also want to do some tacos. So we're just going to go and pick up some ingredients for that. Plus, we have found a brand of food that Lexi likes. So we're going to pick up that as well. It's the Wellness brand. She did not like the first one that we picked out. I don't remember what that was. I'll show you guys when we get to the pet store. She didn't like that one. Not that there's anything wrong with it. She just didn't like it as much as she liked the Wellness brand. Do you guys see her? She's right here. Who am I talking to? I'll get her. No, you would be so cute. We'll just put that there so you guys can see her. I don't know what this is focusing on. It's probably focusing on the darn bed. Oh, Larry, you're up there too, aren't you? Hi. <laughs> but, um, so that's the plan. And then we're also going to come back and relax at the house. But we're going to be filming the heel box unboxing video. So we need to do that. And I had no intentions on vlogging today. And I was like, you know... I'm doing things. Not much things. You guys seem to like like the home vlogs with like my old little bits and pieces throughout the day. So I figured why not vlog today? And I put on makeup today, which I haven't done in a very long time, it feels like. They could have vlogged with me yesterday, Mr. Excitement. They could have watched me pull weeds and trim bushes. Yeah, pull weeds, trim bushes. Oh, we did go on a walk. Maybe we'll take you guys for a walk. So we've been walking about um almost two miles every day we're trying to get into like evening walking but it's so hard to do it here in florida it's not that hard i shouldn't say that can you guys see larry i don't know if they can see you hi the thing is is in the evenings you just never know when it's gonna rain so in the evenings yesterday we walked in a nice little drizzle rain which was really nice but there was a lot of thunder and smidge lightning but it wasn't like the bolts if there's actual bolts we're not walking it's really dangerous so well, when the lightning was off in the distance it wasn't yeah. right, right overhead right so it was just like a little drizzle which is actually nice to walk in here in florida because it was it's it's like 90 with high humidity so it feels good now that i'm getting older so <laughs> now that i'm getting older i'm like 27 but anyways like the reason is like i'm starting to really pay attention to my skin and my skincare and sunscreen so for those of you who are younger wear sunscreen like it is so important because if you have any spots on your face the sun's going to age those spots it's just going to age your face it's not good and yeah wear sunscreen or else you'll end up looking like me when you get old you look fabulous hun if you say so there's a lizard outside like doing its bob up and down yeah, thing like she sees it she's locked in on it i know now you're looking down are you staring them down lexi you staring them down say hi da 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 Hi. And then there's Larry. Hi. <laughs> Lexi, you're so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys. Dishes time. We're going to do a little fast forward of some cleaning. So if you have dishes to do, let's do it together. And uh, then we're going to head out.
for the road. Babe, do you want a water for the road? Babe? I am. Do you want a water for the road? Okay. So, ha! Huh? If it's cold. Well, here's the problem, darling. I don't think you have any cold ones in here. No. We need to stock the fridge. <gasps> I found one. Peach. I found a peach one for you. Okay, so I am going to make some coffee for the road. I've cut back on coffee, guys. I usually have... Are you serious? <laughs> I just massively whacked the camera with the doors. Um, anyways, I have cut back on my coffee intake. Not yet, babies. It's not time yet. And what I am doing is having one cup in the morning and then green tea in the afternoon. Although today I'm having two because we're going out and about. Meanwhile, here I am trying to explain to you guys. Oh, yeah. I've cut back on my coffee. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something before we go. So I just had the nicest phone conversation with... A lovely girl named Jessica, who I have not met yet, but Salon 427, where my mom and I get our hair done at, they called because we have an appointment coming up this Saturday, which I am going to be vlogging because it's a good one. I mean, every time you go to the hair salon, it's pretty fun, but um, to where all the fun chats happen and the fun hairdos happen. So what I'm doing to my hair, mom and I are both getting done a keratin treatment. Are you excited? She wants to go to the salon. She, you want to go get a keratin treatment at the salon? <laughs> oh my god, she's the cutest. We'll oh, get her. Hi! I go to salon 000. Stop it. I'm trying to get him to go to salon 427 to get his hair done. But no, what we're getting done is... My hair is done. What we're getting done is a keratin treatment because... We both have, my mom has like curly hair, but frizzy hair. And then I have frizzy wavy hair. And like here I get like kinks and it's just really weird. So I'm going to try. And I have no hair. I'm going to try a keratin treatment. So we'll see how long it lasts and how it is. And um, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated with that. I'm really excited to like wake up and have smooth hair. And I asked and made sure like it's not damaging because I did go so light. Like the ends around my face, which are the most fragile areas of your face can get damaged quickly. So I'm trying to like repair damage that I've had too and the keratin treatment is supposed to help with that. I was also contemplating going a bit darker with my hair, but I'm gonna save that maybe for a fall video and then go a little bit darker then. We'll see because a few of you guys, which was really, really sweet, had said that- You got scratched. I did. Said that my hair looks really nice dark, which I was so, that's so nice of you guys. But I looked at some of the videos of myself and I was like, I miss my dark hair. But every time I do that and I go dark, like full on dark, then I go through, that coffee's loud. Then I go through the regret and I get really upset that I got rid of, rid of my blonde. Yeah, if it's long hair, she wants it short. When she gets it cut short, she complains it's oh. too short. She wants it long. <laughs> I tried to pick my nose. You have dry skin, which yeah. leads me into factor right, number... <laughs> right on both sides of the nose, I get really flaky dry skin. Oh, me too, darling. Let me give you some moisturizer. Come with me. Let's get Larry moisturized. Uh, you got... That stuff restore, restores damaged hair. Maybe I should get one too. <laughs> we have to take care of our significant others. Because there's always that one that's not into the skincare. So, Don't okay. this long. So this is a really good one, so everybody says. It's the Vanny Cream. It's a little too thick for me, though, because I have acne-prone skin, whereas you don't. So pump a little bit of this on. Okay. Those are free of, like, chemicals, free of everything. So go ahead and do that while I finish up with the coffee. I was going to say something. What were you going to say? Oh, which leads me into saying I want to look at Bed Bath & Beyond. Maybe we can stop there? Yeah, okay. We don't have to spend, but I do want to look because... Somebody had mentioned, and I have noticed a huge difference. We used to have a water softener. I am like chatting, but I guess this is what vlogs are, right? Chatty, chatty. Um, we used to have a water softener here in Florida, and it broke when the hurricane came through. So I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. I mean, it is hot and humid in this state, and my skin is so dry, and it's at its worst when I get out of the shower. So I think there's some harsh 
something in our water. And somebody said, hey, you should really look into getting a water filter for your shower. I did not even know those existed. So, and that was somebody in the YouTube comment section that said that. And I was like, yes, that is so smart. So I wanna, and she said she got hers from Bed Bath & Beyond and she noticed a huge difference in her skin. So I was thinking about looking at shower heads. So maybe I'll take you guys along to do that as well. Yes, I have creamer in my hands. I have to update you guys. The almond milk is great and I have cut back on creamer because I know this is not the best for you and I'm trying to do healthy updates. But if you guys get this and you want to put it in your creamer, I highly suggest getting the vanilla one. I didn't because it had like five or six grams of sugar in it, whereas this had zero, but it makes a difference. I don't know. And look at his shirt. He's the best. He is the best. Ooh, you should have a bowl of cereal you haven't eaten, have you? We're probably gonna be gone for longer than that because we need to go to the P.O. box because, yeah, no, not the mall. The grocery store, the P.O. box, and Bed Bath & Beyond. That's probably gonna take about an hour and a half. Is Bed Bath & Beyond right in the mall? Yes, no, well, we're not going in the mall, but yeah, it's across, it's by the bookstore. Oh, that one. Yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, you're thinking Bath & Body Works. No, honey, Bed Bath & Beyond. Been to one, been to them all. <laughs> I think that's a very common thing where you mix up, not you, but people in general mix up Bed Bath & Beyond and Bath & Body Works. But I do know it's Ulta and not Ultra. That is true. That's yes. another common one. That's so cute. I'm proud of you. I'm like, I know the difference between Home Depot and Lowe's. <laughs> yeah, one's orange and one's blue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna. I'm gonna have Larry eat something, and then we're gonna head out the door and go on our little fun shopping journey. Guys, so I posted a Instagram photo <clears throat> of me with bangs, which was created by an app. Everybody's freaking out. Here's some of the comments. I don't like it. Oh no 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 no. LOL. But you do what makes you happy. You look so different. I cut my hair in high school and I still have the bangs. No offense, no bangs. The bangs, too cute. <laughs> I didn't chop my hair. Larry chopped it all off. I did? You chopped my bangs. No more bangs for you. I have them super glued into my head, but. Mm. So just notice while backing up, there is something weird on my backlight camera. So Larry's going to look. It looks like a wire is hanging down. I have no idea what that is. And you guys are probably seeing reflection you can see it here <gasps> maybe we'll see Larry there he is what is it <laughs> this is dangerous okay I'm gonna put it in park so we're gonna lose him because I don't like him kneeling one <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that is so freaking funny this is why I love him he's the cutest Listening to Pandora, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire film score. I have a Harry Potter station on my Pandora. I have a bunch of stations on Pandora. It's what I listen to in my car. I don't really listen to the radio anymore because commercials. <laughs> Hi. Hi, man. That was funny. It's just a twig. It's some kind of string or something. String? Yeah. So Larry has just run into Office Depot and I was listening to my Pandora station and the song is the Beauty and the Beast original but it's with Emma Watson and Luke Evans and it's Belle and it's the um oh when I was working at a nursing home facility a few years ago about two years ago three years ago two two years ago because I had just started my YouTube channel I remember listening to that song and she was singing and said there must be more than this provincial life. Not that I wasn't thankful for what I was doing. I loved my job, I loved what I was doing, but I just have always felt like I wanted to do something different or something more and more meaningful. And I remember singing that song and this song just came on and I'm gonna play it a little bit. <laughs> Somebody's standing back there. But anyway, she's just kind of talking about like how she's different, how she's funny, how she's goofy, how she doesn't like always fit in. And it's just, it speaks to me. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So if you have big dreams, if you feel like you want to be doing something different and you have the desire and the go, 
I would go for it. Not to be like this a motivational speaker, because I'm not, but I just think that listening back to that song and then sitting here now and thinking where I've like kind of come from in the last two years or where I've come from, where I've like progressed in the last two years. It's just, oh, I love that song. Does that make sense to you guys? Like look back in your lives two years ago and see where you were at and what you were doing and then look now. And a lot of the times, not all the time, not all the time, sometimes it's not better. Sometimes you're in poopier situations. Like that's happened to me in the past too. But right now I can say that I'm in a really good place. I'm in a happy place. I have a wonderful family. I have a wonderful husband, a wonderful kitty. I have the most amazing, like I was gonna call you guys team. Team, are you guys my team? Team Banksies. <laughs> I just, I love you guys so much. I'm just in a really happy place in my life. So listening to that song when I was driving to work and I was just like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like I just wasn't, happy all the way and now I am and I don't know so I hope you guys are happy I hope that whatever you guys were doing two years ago today is a little bit different than what it is now and I hope you guys are in a better place if you're not in a better place don't worry because everybody has those moments and I feel like no matter what a situation is most of the time temporary and you will get through it and you'll move on and that's what I love about life sometimes like I don't know like I've gone through some dark situations in my life which I don't speak about ever like I've had dark dark some dark times um really dark times and I'll be honest with you guys like in that moment you think that it's over like life is over you you don't want to continue it's just not worth it like and yes, that's dark and that's deep. But like speaking to anybody that's going through it or is struggling or like they're having a hard time at school or they're having a hard time making friends or they're having a hard time with their significant other or their spouse and like stuff in life is just crap at the moment. It, it, most of the time it's only temporary and you can get through it and there's light at the other side of the tunnel. And I know it sounds simple, easier said than done, but I've lived it, I've been there, and you know the other thing that people used to say to me back in the day is, you're so young, what if you could have possibly gone through that so bad, like you're a millennial, you're fine, like, no. <laughs> Everybody goes through a struggle just because your struggle isn't what somebody else's struggle was doesn't mean that you're not struggling. And there's internal struggles and struggles that people don't talk about. Holy crap, have I just gone on this huge rant that was not supposed to happen in this vlog. But anyways, there's things in people's lives that happen that people wish to remain concealed and they don't like to bring it up. But just know from somebody who has gone through some stuff that it's temporary and you have to be strong and you can do it and dig yourself out of that deep dark hole because we got this. That's my point of the story. Don't know if I'm gonna leave that in because that was a bit intense. That's a four minute and 45 second rant about life. All stemmed from the Beauty and the Beast song, Belle. How funny is that? But anyways, now that we've had our little life chat, it's time to go into Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> and I just noticed, because I just updated you guys in Insta Story, that the whole time I was talking, I had like this white line I don't know if it showed up on there or not. If it did, it's from makeup. Is that gross? Yeah, probably, but it's about the speech that matters, not the crust that was on your lips. <laughs> gross. Bed, bath, and beyond, here we come. And then we were thinking, oh my gosh, we have to drive a couple miles down to, what's it called, PetSmart, but there is a Petsco over there. So, let's hope they have the water filters here and let's hope that they're not like, super expensive. I love this pillow. It's like winter and fall vibes. Uh-oh, it's ugh. That's gonna be pricey. Larry just ran away. <gasps> 50 bucks. That's not bad for an ugg pillow, but I'm not spending $50 on a pillow. Not today. Larry left me. He's like, no, we're on a mission. I also found a marble bed comforter that looks really cute. But, ooh, he found the sh- oh, that's, that's not him. <laughs> 
so we just found shower filters, but I think you have to buy this to go with it, and I don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. That was a very uneventful event because there's nobody to ask in there. There was only somebody working there at the register, and we walked around the whole store, and there was nobody to ask, and I didn't want to ask the bridal shower person, but I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to because they have a registry spot for you to register for bridal showers or baby showers, I think. And she wasn't in there. So there was like nobody in that store to talk to. So we had to leave because, yeah. But now we're going into Petco. Look at the little ferrets. Oh, they're so cute. Yes. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Halloween, 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 Halloween. No, this is the post office. <laughs> will you be waiting here or are you coming I in? I cracked my neck. I'm gonna come in with you. I was just telling Larry, come August, at the end of August, guarantee you we're gonna be watching The Nightmare Before Christmas. He's like, oh, would you say, babe? I suggest, I'm sure you will. Sure you will. You will too, don't you worry. <laughs> so ready, so ready. Pumpkins, pumpkin spice. And everything nice. I'm so dramatic today. Mm. A little wound up. We are back. Groceries have been put away. Larry and I are now sitting down to eat lunch. And I'm having a spinach salad. And then I'm having salsa. But I'm mixing it with green salsa. So it's like a salsa verde slash... What is that called? Pico de gallo. Kind of like salsa. With blue corn tortilla chips. Yeah, I would have known that. <laughs> and Larry is going to have a hot dog, which is why he doesn't know what pico de gallo is. You know what pico de gallo is, don't you? Do you? That's Do you? When the guy jumps around in the corner and peeks. Pico <laughs> de gallo. <laughs> so, there we have it. <laughs> but we're going to eat lunch, and then we're going to film a PO unboxing video. I'm going to set you guys down. See, I set you guys down, and then that happens. I'll just... I'll just... Anyways, we need to film a P.O. Box unboxing video, and I was just going to do the full thing. There are so many boxes that the video is going to be really long, and I, I, I struggle with this every single time. I don't know if I should just do two separate videos and have it be like 25-ish minutes long, or just do one long 40-minute video. What do you think, babe? I think we should... Go ahead and film the whole thing, let you do your editing magic, and at the end of the editing, if it's still long, then you can break it up. Well, the problem with that is, is like, the intro. Mm. You'd have to film the same, and we'd be wearing, I don't know, it'd be weird. I don't know, we'll see as we're filming it. Yeah, I'll just say that in the beginning. Anyways, we're gonna eat now, and catch up with you after we film that video, and I'll let you guys know what we decide. Show them this 30-year-old pen. This is Larry's 30-year-old pen he's had since high school. He just bought a refillable... It's a cross. This this pen, can we just talk about how shiny and like perfect condition this pen is for being 30 years old and for Larry having it since high school? It originally started out Come like... Come on, they'd, like, they'd, they'd probably like to see you and not me, so... Uh, this is a cross pen. It originally started life out as a felt tip pen, and I could never find a replacement for the felt tip. So today I went out to, what store were we at? Office Depot. Office Depot. And they did have something that was the correct size. So I bought it and it's actually a gel pen, but it fits, it works, it writes. If it fits, it sits. <laughs> that's it, so it's sitting right here. So that's a good thing. And then a few years ago, I was with Mindy's mom, her mom, mom and Mindy and we stopped at an estate sale here in Florida, not too far from where we're at. And for the low, low price of $1 on the last day of the sale, I think it was, I found this cross pen. Okay. For the low, low price of $1. And the refill inside, the, the, uh, the writing on it, like this one, has writing this one had nothing it had worn off or something i don't know it was never on there but at any rate i noticed that the refill was about the same size so i got two and it works 
So this is the first time I've been able to use this as a gel pen. And I'm thinking for people that know cross pens, it's got some age to it. It's got some some scars and some some things on it. But for a dollar, I thought that was a pretty good buy. Yeah. So that's what uh, that's why I got the cross pens working today. That was Larry's haul for today. That's my haul. I'm about to try. I'm gonna let you guys know if mixing salsa verde. I got two of these pens. Larry got pens. Mr. Excitement. You are exciting. But I guess so. You're so cute. Oh, I kind of got a stomach ache. Why though? Maybe because I need to eat. All right, let's try salsa verde mixed with pico de gallo. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's good. All right. See you in a minute. So we just finished up the PO unboxing. It was amazing. If you guys have not seen that video, you should definitely check it out. Don't mind the mess over there. You guys already know. If you're new here, you probably don't know, but we are redoing an office room, which is why all that stuff is out. But look at this little baby. What's he doing? We should title this vlog Lexi Kitty. Is she not the cutest cat? You're so pretty. Hi. This is a weird angle, but I just want to say how blown away Larry and I are at your guys' generosity, love, and support. Like, I just, it's so emotional how sweet you guys are. And I really, really love you guys. A lot of people kind of read in, wrote in letters that it must be hard to deal with, like, the hate and stuff like that. But really, it's like 95% love and positivity with you guys in the comment section. Of course, there's going to be hate sprinkled in there. But what matters is the love and support from you guys. And that's what really makes all of this so worth it. Is just how sweet and amazing you guys are. <sighs> so, I just read an Instagram DM from a lovely follower and viewer. And she just sent me the most amazing clip of how much of an impact Larry and I and Lexi and my family have on her life. And she made me cry and laugh all at the same time. Like... It was just mind blowing. And then I looked at Larry and I realized that I don't think I realized how much of an impact we have on your lives. And I mean, I don't, I don't want that to come out sounding bad or like in a negative way. I don't think it could be taken that way, right? I don't think so. It's not meant that way. I just, I didn't, I, you don't realize it until you see people react and tell you how much that you're helping them through life and that means the world to us because I've been there, we've been there, we've all been through the dark times and I just don't think I truly understood how much of an impact that we have on your guys' lives. But I want you to know, we want you to know that as much of an impact as we have on your lives, you guys have on ours because you guys move us in such a way it's hard to explain. It's like that anxiety feeling, but it's not anxiety. It's just like that overwhelming support feeling from you guys is absolutely incredible. And sometimes you go through life not realizing how incredible it is. And I just, I think I realized it now. <laughs> now I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. I moved to Florida. I left my whole everything in Ohio. I had no friends coming down here. I had Mindy's family, and they're great, but I don't have any friends in Florida. I, I have, I, they're, they're all 12, 1400 miles away. And because of being on YouTube, and because of everyone that's, that's been so generous and so thoughtful, um, I feel now like I have more friends in Florida than I did in Ohio. Yeah. We have such an internet family, and you guys are incredible and we love every single one of you. If I could put us all in one big stadium and somehow be able to meet every single one of you, we would in a heartbeat. I just want to give you all hugs. So if you guys are watching this and you've made it this far through the vlog, this is Larry and I giving you guys big hugs and sending you love. I don't know how to do it, but Mindy knows how to go into her YouTube and look at where all of her followers are from and all of the different countries and how many numbers represent each one of those countries. And it's just hard for me to comprehend that not only do I have friends in the United States, 
but I also have friends in a dozen countries yeah we do we absolutely love you guys thank you so much i know i say thank you and i know i don't want it to be like overused but we love you and we just thank you so with that being said we are going to end this vlog here we hope you enjoyed the vlog the pep talk and you guys helped me so much today you guys have no idea you helped both of us Whew. Whew. We will end this vlog here and we're going to get to work on editing these videos and um, we'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. Bye.